Hey sportsman, John Bergsman here. Another edition of the Hot Bite Fishing Report coming your way. Again, five great locations. We're gonna start in the Port Clinton region for walleye, walleye, walleye. That's Port Clinton, Ohio. We're gonna move all the way across the bridge and talk about Curtis, Michigan, up in the central upper peninsula. They've got an awesome panfish bite going on there in Curtis. We're gonna drop back across the bridge, head over to Holland, Michigan, where Captain Mark from the Black Pearl is whacking lake trout, kings, steelhead, you name it. Then we'll across the state to Saginaw Bay, we normally don't go two places in two consecutive weeks, but Saginaw Bay is just too good to not talk about right now. We're gonna head north from Saginaw up to Alpena, Michigan, chat with Captain Steve Hubert. He said he is absolutely annihilating the fish. Stay tuned, you're gonna like these five reports here on the Hot Bite Fishing Report. Well, hey, first stop of the day, Port Clinton, Ohio, and Captain Kelly from the Irregardless, Kelly Schmidt, tells us that the fishing in Port Clinton hasn't slowed down even for a second. Even in the teeth of last weekend's northeast winds, they still made it out. They still caught their limit. They had a great time. And with the winds that we've got this week, a lot more southerly winds, Port Clinton there on the south shore there of Lake Erie is gonna have awesome fishing and the fishing's gonna remain lights out. Now, how's Captain Kelly catching them? If you're bringing your own boat, you're gonna to wanna to run either bandits or flicker minnows or also what Captain Kelly does is Dreamweaver Trip Z's with mini spoons. Now those have been a really hot ticket both in Saginaw and Port Clinton and Monroe all season long. And a Trip Z is a diver, like a jet diver device. And what it does is when there's pressure put on it by the presence of the fish, it flips the, the angle of the, of the, and it flips up, brings the fish to the surface. You're not fighting that uh, dive, diving device at all. And the mini spoons, let me tell you what, lots of different colors have been working, mixed veggies, the goby color, purple and gold, just a ton of different colors there that uh, Shane and the boys at Dreamweaver have in their mini spoon line. They have been going everywhere we have gone. So check those out online, Dreamweaver mini spoons and Trip Z jet divers. Now, if you're running bandits or crankbaits, you're gonna run around them 30 to 70 back. That seems to be that range where there's good fish. So setting a spread out, you might have two at 30, two at 45, two at 55, two at 70 for a total of eight rods, that's gonna give you a good spread of the water column. But right now, Port Clinton, Ohio has been happening. Hey, if you're looking for a great charter captain, the irregardless sport fishing, Captain Kelly Schmidt, he's got a boat right there in the water at Port Clinton. He'll have you on the fish in no time. You'll have a great time on the water. And Kelly is family and kid friendly. He absolutely loves to take kids out. So give call, Kelly a call. But if you can't get, get on a charter with Kelly, Bring your boat down there, Port Clinton, Ohio, right now is snapping. Hey, newly introduced here at Trax Tech for uh, 2020. This is, uh, this is a cradle, uh, hybrid cradle series that we came out with. And we have a squeeze button design on here we've had for years on one of our tube style holders. And this all used to be molded plastic. Now we've gone to an all aluminum base on here, real durable molded on the top. Got a super easy squeeze button adjustability on the side right here, one handed. So that's new to show you. And then the other really cool feature we put into this was a rack and pinion system. So it has a lever on the back side here that we can push and snap in and extend or bring our cradle back toward us inside the boat if we need to get at it. So this is our HBCS-200 hybrid cradle. So hey, we're headed all the way across the bridge like we always do at least one stop in the UP. Today stop Curtis, Michigan. Now Curtis there in the Manistique Lake Recreation Area, Big Manistique Lake, South Manistique Lake, they have been pretty out awesome catches for the last several weeks of panfish. Now, the fish are still in the shallows, three to five foot shallow weeds and or right on the edges at six foot, basically three to six foot, working around weeds on South Lake and Big Lake, you're gonna find really good bluegill, sunfish, perch, crappie. It has been all over the board. Now, on the Big Lake, 
there seems to be more sunfish and perch. On the small lake, it seems to be more bluegill and crappie. But no matter which lake you choose, there's really good fishing as long as you're on the weeds. So on the big lake from Burnt Island all the way down to the log cabin there on Ander uh, log cabin campground, Anderson Bar has got good new weed growth going. There's fish scattered all along that three, four mile pole there. There's also fish up in Helmer Bar in Helmer Bay just north of the uh, 33 boat launch. So those are two good spots if you're on Big Lake. If you're on South Lake, listen, there's weeds everywhere. All you're really doing is diving into bays, trying to find you know, water that you can see, protected areas from the wind where you'll be able to see the fish when you see them. Just simple rigs, slip bobbers, you know, not very deep, maybe a foot and a half to two foot below the slip bobber, maybe three foot if you're out in that six foot of water. Basically put that bait in the mid zone of whatever depth you're fishing and you should have really good success. And hey, if you're crappie fishing, targeting crappie, crappie bite has really been good the last couple years there on South Lake and it's starting to come on even on Big Lake and you're gonna wanna ha go ahead and have fat head minnows on for that. You know, Mike at the Fish and Hunt Shop has got really good minnow supply and selection. Up the hill from Mike is Mix. They've also got good bait up there at Mix. So whatever lake you choose to fish right now seems to be awesome pan fishing there in the Curtis and Manistique Lakes recreation area. And not to mention the fact, if you got stopped at the border or you know stopped with a border situation in Canada and you're looking to have to push that trip on to the following year, Curtis is a great spot to call to take a five, seven day family vacation. They're really family orientated. Lots of small resorts, both on South and Big Lake to help you out to fill that vacation if you got stopped from taking your Canadian excursion. So give uh, the Manistake Lakes Recreation Area Tourism Office a call. They can help you out. They've let me know that they've got a list of places with vacancies and they're filling cabins fast. But right now, Curtis's go time all the way through Labor Day for the rest of the summer, this is one of the places to go. Every serious fishing boat needs a place to put tackle, accessories, tools, and everything else we need to have a great day fishing. The binary wall system on the Angler Quest Family Fish is something that every serious angler loves because it gives us everything we need to have a great day on the water. The ability to mount track and rod holders on the binary wall gives us the ability to put rod holders, tool holders, planer board holders, any accessories we need for fishing. Adding the ability to store tackle boxes, a great tray to lay lures or tools, and open storage to store bulk items. We've got everything we need to have a great fishing day. Check out the binary wall and all of its features and everything else that you can get on AngerQuest Pontoon at your local AngerQuest dealer. So we're talking about Holland, Michigan, and Holland, Michigan has always been one of my favorite stops. Number one, it's the closest place that I represent to my home there in the greater Grand Rapids area. And one of the things I love about Holland is the consistency of the fishery. No matter when I have gone to Holland, from early May, or I mean late April, early May, all the way through until October, I seem to always catch fish. Mark Rapson of the Black Pearl Sport Fishing has kept me on fish with his reports, and all I really do anymore is look at Mark's report on my website and go do it and you'll catch fish. So this week's report, he's got lots of lake trout and he's also still mixing in a good amount of silver. He's getting kings, steelhead, coho, in almost every single trip, he's got good mix bag going on. It's not just Lakers. One of the reasons, Mark sets a spread out so he's never quits fishing for those higher fish like steelhead and coho. So what is he running? Well, he's running his Trax Tex downriggers down near the bottom right now, and that's been what's producing the Lakers. Obviously, anytime you peg a couple of downriggers close to the bottom, you're gonna catch lake trout. And he's been doing that with either whirly gigs or spinning glows. Those have been the two best baits for the lake trout. Now, if you're trying to target kings, you're gonna go more mid-depth. And what that means is he's telling me three to four, 300 to 450 on your coppers have been what's the hottest bite. And he's been pulling you know, either big spoons or meat rigs on those, uh, those deep coppers. And also the high coppers have been producing some really nice steelhead. High copper meaning 75 to 150 on your way outside boards. That's been getting some really nice high fish. So right now a really good mix bag going on 
there out of the Port of Holland. Now the depths he's been targeting seems to be, now we've had, again, we've had some wind that's kept the water next to shore quite cold. I mean, we're talking, you know, still only around 50, 55 degrees on that shoreline water because of all the crazy winds we've had. So right now it seems like the depth range is 90 to 140. Now that's right now. Now if we get a solid south wind and it sets up south-southwest like it typically does, that'll probably push out to 150 to 250. But right now it seems to still be pretty tight to shore. So always check our website, we're always updating it. But right now, not too far from shore, really good fishing here out of the Port of Holland. Are you in the market for a new trailer? For all your trailer needs, big or small, visit Beck's Trailer Superstore on Highway 127, north of St. John's. So, Saginaw Bay Walleye, what do you say? I mean, we've talked to everybody and their dog and it seems like everyone is catching fish. So we're gonna talk to you real quick, three different ways. You're either gonna do crankbaits fast, we're talking 2.5 to 2.7, and that's flicker minnows, flicker shads, in, in really just really normal, traditional big water colors, which is like a, a, a flashy perch or a purple and gold base lures. Chromes are working. Fluorescents are working on the darker days, really loud fluorescent contrast colors in flicker sheds, flicker minnows, typically running them about 30 to 60 back, right on your offshore boards. Does a great job, you'll catch tons of fish, use your tattle flags, you'll know they're there. They has been a lot of the young a year fishing, fish being caught, especially if you're around the shipping channel, which is where a lot of the action is happening. Now, if you're gonna head out of Linwood, you can just head north out of Linwood and make a pull, depending on the wind direction, you can either start right out in Linwood and troll north and out a little bit, or you can run up if the wind's coming from the north and you can pull it down. But there's been really good fish caught right there in that 18 to 22 foot of water right there north of Linwood or straight across from Linwood right where the spark plug comes in contact with the shipping channel. So uh, another really good effective way is a Dreamweaver Trip Z. Now we used the Trip Z 30s last week myself and uh, uh, Angler Quest owners Brad Dupuy when we went out and we had awesome success. Mini Dreamweaver spoons again, purple and gold was the hot color or mixed veggies on the Trip Z, and we were letting those out about 35 to 65 back. That seemed to be the ticket. I've talked to Captain Mark Panosiak. He's also got a few openings on his charters for the next two, three weeks. He's an awesome charter captain right there out of the Linwood Beach Marina, and he is kid friendly with a capital K. He loves to have kids and families on the boat. Give Captain Mark a call. His information will be right there at the bottom of the report, the written report. And that's as a reminder, whenever you're watching this video report, all you got to do to get Charter Captain information is go to the website, fishermansdigest.com, find the destination we're talking about, that would be the Great Lakes Bay region, and go ahead and push that fishing report. On the very bottom is Captain Mark's phone number. You can get a hold, get a hold of him and get a trip booked. But right now, as it has been for the last several weeks, Saginaw Bay is on fire, lights out. Hey, are you in the market for a small outdoor shed, carport, or small storage building? Visit my friends up at Midwest Steel Carports. They'll travel anywhere in the Lower Peninsula to install your shed or carport for you. Visit them online at MidwestSteelCarports.com. So we're talking about Alpena, and although this is the last report of the day, trust me, Captain Steve Hubert at Chum Bucket Charter says that this is not the last report you're gonna hear from him. Fishing is stupid right now. Fish are everything but jumping in the boat. He's going out there. If you see the pictures coming up during this report, big fish, mixed bag fish. He's got some Atlantics, he's got some steelhead, he's got an occasional walleye. He's got all kinds of stuff happening up there in Alpena in that greater Thunder Bay region. So what's he catching them on right now? He's catching them on Dreamweaver Super Slims in super bright colors. So he's running them out basically 75, 125 in the 200s. Those three coppers are what's catching most of his fish. He's got good action on the low divers as well and on the riggers, but it seems like the coppers have been consistently catching the fish for Steve, and that kind of makes it fun because it makes for just a little bit longer of a fight. 
But if you're watching these pictures scroll across your screen, you're going, wow, Steve is on them. And that's exactly right. Steve is on them. Now, I know he's got a couple of dates left in June, but otherwise we're already into July. And let me tell you, you want to get on board with Steve Hubert. He is really a fish catching machine out there in that area. It is worth the trip. I'd even suggest a double trip where you, where you, show, where you drive up in the morning get on with Captain Steve for his afternoon, his three o'clock start, and get right out there and fish that three to eight, and then go to bed, have a great time there in downtown Alpena, grab yourself some dinner, you know, wake up the next morning and go with Steve in the morning. That gives you the afternoon of that day to drive home. That double charter afternoon morning is an awesome way to experience everything that Steve can show you there about the Alpena region. Hey guys, thanks again for joining us every week here on Fisherman's Digest Video Reports. You know, today we're standing in front of beautiful Portage Lake. This is one of my favorite places on earth. I vacationed here with my family for about 25 years of my life. It's just representative of an awesome Great Lakes connected inland lake that's scattered all through the regions that we represent. Hey, let's treat summer the way tr summer needs to be treated. Let's pack our family and our kids up. Let's head north. Let's go to these communities right now that desperately need your business. Let's get out there, let's enjoy the outdoors, let's spend some money, and let's support our local Michigan economy. But right now, there's no better or safer place to be than one of the northern Michigan communities or upper peninsula communities of the great state of Michigan. We'll see you again next week.